my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to talk to you about real versus irrational numbers. Now irrational numbers are actually just a subset of real numbers. So what we might want to compare instead is irrational and rational. So you've got the large set of real numbers and that's split into rational and irrational. Okay, and there's some ways that we can remember their differences. It depends how they're written. So if they are written as decimals, what you have to remember is that rational numbers either terminate, and when I say terminate, I mean stop, or they repeat. So a decimal that would be an example of a rational number would be 4.7. Why is that rational? Because it stops. It stops at the number 7 and it doesn't go any further, so it terminates. Another example would be 3.686868 dot dot dot. Why is that rational? Because it doesn't terminate, right? It goes on forever as indicated by the three dots, but it does repeat, okay? It goes 6868, eight, so there's a continuous pattern. And by that same token, I can write a number like 4.6 with a bar over it, and that indicates repeating. So because all of these numbers either repeat or terminate, it can never do both, but it's got to do one of them, they're considered rational. Now, irrational numbers do not repeat, and they also do not terminate or do not stop, okay? They can't do either or. Do not repeat and do not stop. And the most common example of an irrational number is the number pi, okay? Because if you write out pi, it's going to be 3.14 and it goes on and on and it never repeats, there's never a pattern and it does not stop, okay? So that's an irrational number, a number that never stops, never repeats. And a rational number is a number that either stops or it repeats. That's the difference between rational and irrational, both of which are real numbers.